No money but a horse named Meg. Forbes reveals that Harry cut from the Queen's will and the Queen Mother's $100 million. Queen Elizabeth II's death has greatly disrupted normalcy. For followers of the British royals, one of the main questions they have is what will happen to her wealth and who will inherit these treasured items that include historic jewels, artwork and more. The Queen's will is split in two, her personal belongings and the Crown's estate. The former is made up of a variety of items, including estates and valuable objects, which according to the Sunday Times have a value of over $420 million. It's been a long time, the Queen's will has not been revealed, but yesterday representatives told Forbes that Prince Andrew and Prince Harry were also apparently cut from it. Harry wasn't a beneficiary of any of the $100 million left to the royal family by his great-grandmother, the Queen Mother, and the rumour that Anne is in control of it all. Radar Online confirmed that in September 2022, reporting, there's a very good chance the Queen won't leave either of them any jewels of value. A source said that it's not surprising since they're not members of the royal family anymore, but it would be a real slap in the face. Radar Online also reported that Meghan's sister-in-law, Princess of Wales, who's set to inherit $110 million in jewellery from the Queen, will likely pass some of the jewels to their niece, because she and her husband, Prince William, really don't want Lilibet to be left out. As for Meghan, she's none of their concern, the insider added. The Queen left Meghan out of the inheritance altogether. However, a source close to the palace also revealed that although the Queen left Harry no money or jewellery, she allowed Harry to inherit a horse named Meg, because Harry likes playing polo. It was the only gift that was revealed, but until the testament is released, Harry hasn't received anything to date. If this is true, it's not surprising. Harry can't be trusted with money. You just know it will be gone within six months, squandered on drugs and frivolous lawsuits, and a couple more hideous outfits for the wife. It's unclear if giving the horse, named Meghan, was a troll, but indeed Meg joined other seven horses to pull King Charles's carriages on the coronation. In May, the royal family have shared interesting updates about the historic occasion on their official Twitter account. Captioning, on the streets of London, the royal muse have been practising for coronation day. They wrote alongside the clip, the famous Windsor Greys will pull their majesty's carriages on the day, six horses, Icon, Shadow, Milford Haven, Echo, Knightsbridge and Tyrone will pull the Diamond Jubilee State coach on the way to Westminster Abbey. Meghan Newark will join their stablemates to pull the Gold State coach on the return to Buckingham Palace. It's also said that these horses have been used relatively recently in Jubilee celebrations for the late Queen. Back to the issue of inheritance. Now possesses the Crown Estate a collection of properties and lands that are located across the United Kingdom. These include Buckingham Palace, the Duchy of Cornwall, Kensington Palace and the estate of the Crown of Scotland. The King also inherited the Sovereign Grant, which is the King or Queen's salary for their role. Forbes estimates that the Queen earned around $98 million on a yearly basis. Aside from all of the property that we listed above, King Charles is now the owner of all of the swans, whales and dolphins of the United Kingdom, since these species are considered property of the Crown.